Hey guys, it's meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather, and we finally have a storm system for the west. I think it will help to kind of set the stage for another storm system down the road. I mean, it has been so long since we have seen um, snow in some places, and this will be the first in weeks for some places. Here's Schweitzer. Your snow, look at the timeline. I think this... Uh, Monday's your day for snow in the Schweitzer area. Beautiful morning up there right now. Um, let me take you into uh, Jackson Hole this morning. A lot of sunshine, beautiful view. Cody, Cody Peak there in the back. So Tuesday, Wyoming, Montana, Utah. That's your timeline. And then on Wednesday, Colorado and New Mexico for this storm system. Let me show you what it looks like down in Alta. I mean, uh, gorgeous morning. It has just been so long since we've seen anything significant in the Wasatch. So this storm, obviously, is absolutely what we need. Let me show you the pattern. And the key is this storm. Look at the size of this low pressure. It's gigantic. And it becomes a huge player in the forecast. Right now, though, the jet's kind of coddling it, running up, and then bending down like this um, and running down through Montana, Wyoming, Colorado. But what's going to happen is this low will move in this direction and it will force the jet to go ampli it'll amplify it and move it north and then create a very large trough across the west. That's part of the key to this, to breaking down this ridge of high pressure across the west. That will allow the action to set the platform up for this storm system across the west Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then hopefully this kind of creates a rut in the atmosphere and we'll get something down the road around the 21st and the 22nd. So that's the way things are shaping up currently. Um, let me show you what the uh, the GFS thinks about uh, all of this. Um, let me take you on a Monday morning. It's been a dry weekend in the Pacific Northwest. That changes on Monday. Here's Monday morning. Low hits the Pacific Northwest, begins to move in. Idaho, you've got snow on Monday. It starts to clip western Montana. You'll have snow during the day into Tuesday. Um, this is Tuesday morning. Starts to affect the Tetons, the Wasatch, Nevada, and it will clip Shasta and Tahoe. This is not going to be a big storm for California, but it will hopefully set the stage for another storm down the road. Let me take you into Wednesday morning. Starts to set up in Colorado. The low starts to spin up. Northern New Mexico gets in on it. Uh, Thursday morning, the low pulls out into the heartland. Leftover snow in uh, Colorado, Utah, and then it's over by then. Uh, look at the north, the northeast. It starts as rain Thursday and then changes over to snow on Friday. There's not going to be a whole lot of accumulation there. Across the west, we're back to high pressure mainly. Mid-17 through 18, 19, and 20. Probably by the 20. Look what happens on the 20th. Storm system hits California more squarely thanks to this storm that's going to be moving through this week. Um, creates that uh, scenario. Um, so there's the uh, late on the 20th. Here's the 21st. Larger storm complex across the west. More people getting in on the action. This is the 21st. Here's the 22nd. So there's a lot to look forward to there if we can get this storm through this week. Here's my forecast all of today through the 20th. Notice the numbers across the west. We're finally looking at something after weeks of no action. In Utah, Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, the Pacific Northwest, BC, and Banff, Colorado, New Mexico, everybody getting in, getting in on the action. Looking at Colorado, uh, mainly western slope and southern mountains, that's where the biggest numbers are going to be. And again, that timeline, Monday, Idaho, Tuesday, Wyoming, Montana, Utah, Wednesday, Colorado, and New Mexico. Um, let me show you phase two. So this is all... This is the 20th through the 22nd. This captures that second storm system. Um, you can see the numbers across the west looking pretty good in many of the same locations, um, especially Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico. So that's something to definitely look forward to. Um, let me show you. It's been a long time since I've been able to do the plume for any <laughs> resort out west. which I haven't seen anything. Uh, here's Jackson Hole. Two storm two storm combos. So the first one comes in 14, 15, 16. Um, then we get a break, high pressure. Then the second storm comes in 19, 20, and 21. And you can see the numbers. Could be approaching 17, 18, 19 inches by the 21st out of both storms as a combo. So that's the plume. Let me show you what I'm thinking for the northeast. Again, it starts as rain Thursday and then transitions over to some light snow Friday in the morning. Not a lot of accumulation, one to four inches, mainly northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, and northern Maine. So there you go. Let me take you back. Again, here's phase one across the west. Again, the storm comes in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. With powder for the west, this is the place to be during that time frame in the different states. And then here is phase two with capturing the second storm, 20th 
through the 22nd. All right, there we go. We fi- I'm really excited. We finally have something here across the West besides high pressure in the forecast. Enjoy it. Thank you for tuning in here as always.